General's aboard. Good morning, sir. How are you? Welcome aboard. How are you? Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Stand easy, please. How's everybody today? Good. One nine or two. Thank you very much. Higher headquarters missions being flown today. We have one flying from Hickam to Kadena, 8F4s to 4 KC-135s. They were executed by the SAC Underground at 415, 0, 0415 this morning. The President is located in Camp David. The Commander-in-Chief of Europe is out of position until the 21st, and the Vice Sink Sack is at Andrews for the day. He'll be back later this evening in approximately 1900 soon. Okay. This is the uh, current world intelligence situation, and uh, you might pay particular note to the uh, nuclear submarines off the east and west coast. Okay. The SAC Airborne Command Post with a communications check. How do you hear me? Yeah, I'll be pleased to review of those airplanes. Yes, sir. You are cleared for takeoff from the... Care for some coffee, General? Yeah, good idea. Soviet military presence along the West German frontier. 
NATO intelligence sources report a massive buildup of infantry and armored divisions along the Elbe River and extending all the way south to the Czech border, which the United States fears could seriously jeopardize the current round of strategic arms reduction talks. The Soviet ambassador declared the maneuvers to be the usual Warsaw Pact training exercises. Ambassador Shefrin told him that explanation was unacceptable and called the action provocative. Ambassador Karajan? Provocative. If you call us provocative, when your Americans have 260,000 soldiers and 7,000 nuclear weapons poised on the other side of our border. A lot of kids are born in war, but we can do something about it these days. Now, here's the problem. The septa don't meet properly. The aorta is rising from the right ventricle and the pulmonary from the left. I'm going to go in here and make a nice little hole between the two sides of the heart to allow the blood to carry enough oxygen to the rest of the body. It is scheduled for Saturday. No way. I'm pulling 36 hours straight up at Lawrence starting tomorrow. Hello, Joe. What do you have for lunch? Oh, I had turkey with yams, beans, cranberry sauce. Nurse says she's giving me some ice cream, but she didn't come back. What flavor do you like best? Vanilla. Coffee if they ain't got vanilla. You heard the man. Let's find him his ice cream. Hey, any of you guys hear anything about an alert? Not this weekend, buddy. I'm going fishing. <laughs> Who goes fishing? He generally falls in love. When you fall in love, you fall in love. Every weekend you fall in love. What's wrong with you, two bitch? You got no self-control? Come to think of it, I can use a nice, quiet weekend. Weekend hell, buddy. I got 30 days. Hey, me and Maureen's going to take Skip on down to New Orleans. Well, I wouldn't go making any big travel plans for a while. Is that an order? Just a feeling. My butt if we're late for this thing. Oh, God. Would you hurry? My hair is gonna be a mess. Okay. All right, get off. Okay. Let's go. Yeah! Hang on. Okay. I know Bruce, he is going to make a grand entrance. We should have told her to come with us. Well, they probably just wanted a little privacy. Privacy? You know, Dad, privacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jolene, that's disgusting. What did I tell you? You've been. Hey, Mom. Sorry, Miss Dahlberg. <laughs> Hi, River Walkers. Hey, buddy. Put this in your pocket till I ask you for it. You got that? Yeah, you bet. Hi, Bruce. Well, shall we all get started? Uh, less. <laughs> Sorry, we're late. Sparrow 35 requesting permission to land. Sparrow 35, this is Oscar 1 Control. You're clear to land with our 230th kill. Roger, Oscar.
There's no site checks due, sir, and no problems with the personnel, no weather reports. Sounds good. Scam Stanton, ready to authenticate? Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, Victor. Yep. Today. Uh, everything looks to be normal. Hello, status. All sorties are clean and green, with the exception of Oscar 11. You have maintenance on site for two more hours. <laughs> Gee, Dad, your schedule is busier than the president's. Maybe I should run for office. What? Do I have to make an appointment for open heart surgery or something to get an hour with you? Hey, what's eating you, fruitcake? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just jumpy. Don't say I sound like mom, please. Ah, you saw 60 Minutes last night. Uh-huh. No. Come on. I'm taking you someplace you work right next to, and I bet never been inside in 15 years. Well, come on. Sometimes it's hard to know how to experience a Chinese landscape because the artist doesn't tell you where you're watching from, like in a Turner or a Corot or something. You know why? Because he wants you to be in the landscape, a part of it, not out here looking at it. You mean a God's eye point of view? No. Well, yes, if by God you mean everywhere in, inside sort of thing, yeah. Got that funny in-between look. In-between what? In-between knowing whether you should tell me something. Okay, Daddy. I'm moving to Boston. Oh. How come? See, that's why I didn't want to tell you right away. I have to deal with your hurt feelings and Mom's, not well, just... all I asked was why. Pop, it's time for me to leave home. But you haven't been living at home for two years. An apartment 26 blocks away isn't exactly Independence, Missouri, you know. Of course, uh, choosing Boston wouldn't have anything to do with, uh, what's his name? Gary. Gary, uh, starting Tufts Medical this fall. No. Well, <laughs> maybe a little. But it's not like we're going to be living together or anything. At least not right away. Growing up, it's like growing apart. Maybe it's a natural phenomenon. Have you told your mother? Uh, tomorrow. I thought I'd start with you and work my way up. Oh, I'm easy. <laughs> Easier. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so easy, you know. What? Saying goodbye. Man, if I go rebooking that plane ticket, man, I'm gonna lose my super safe. Don't know why you're flying down to New Orleans for anyway. You ought to drive down. Yeah, Visit drive. all those pretty nice old plantations down around Natchez. Uh -huh. Take one of them steamboat rides. Hey. Get my bag, will you? What the 
they say is wrong with this thing anyway? Won't fly. <laughs> Hello here, man. Mommy, can I make cookies? You can't make cookies. You're only four. You could show me. Sure, kids, go ahead, but clean up. Since NATO's insistence on positioning medium-range Pershing twos and cruise missiles in Europe uh, has uh, caused Great Britain to reevaluate its own nuclear commitment, scrub it all together if the Labour Party had its way. You see, the real fear is that when the chips are down and the red light's blinking, that the United States won't really want to sacrifice Chicago for Hamburg, as the saying goes. A correspondent in Europe confirmed that according to NATO intelligence reports, as of this morning, there are now three Soviet tank divisions poised along the Fulda Gap. The United States issued a strong protest regarding the Soviet presence in an emergency session of the UN Security Council this morning. A protest responded to indirectly this afternoon by Soviet foreign ministers meeting in Brussels for trade talks with the common market. Speaking with ABC News, the Soviet foreign minister claims the United States had the cart before the horse. You can answer one question, can't you? That won't hurt you none. All right, one question, but remember... Where's Alan? <clears throat> Always over at Jackson's having supper. They had a varsity scrimmage at seven. Well, he didn't spend much time around here, does he? Who does? Looks like I'm here. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Thank you. I thought you taught hematology at Lawrence tonight. Sam's taking my classes for me. <laughs> I'm uh, going out tomorrow afternoon. We'll go to the movies tonight? Mm -hmm. We could go to the Fern Hill Drive in and. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what if he just stayed in? Yeah, suits me fine. Light a few candles, put on some raunchy music. What has gotten into you? What, you don't like my ideas? I love your ideas. It's just that you're... Oh, you've been talking to Meryl, haven't you? Yeah, she told me about the scholarship in uh, Boston. She said you were just marvelous about it. I handled myself pretty well. <laughs> it's good to see you're so excited about the move. Is that what's important? How excited she is? She'd follow Gary in that old rattle trap to Nome or New Mexico. Wait, she only applied to Boston because hey, he wait was. Wait a minute, let me turn this up. Please, minute, listen. You? I have been listening to that thing all day. The blockade of West Berlin continues. The action follows reports earlier this evening of widespread rebellion among several divisions of the East German Army. To repeat, East Germany tonight sealed off the borders to West Berlin, closing the four principal West German access corridors at Lauenburg, Helmstedt, Erlichausen, and Rudolfstein. I don't believe this is happening. Do you want to go in the living room and watch? I just want to go upstairs and get into bed with you. Nani's got some kind of stag party planned in here. So tonight's the last night we'll see each other till Sunday. Yeah, but Ma still fit in my gown. Hey, you know what? No one's up at Arthur's tonight. They're all in town at the game. <laughs> it's not like we haven't ever made love before, Brucey. Oh, not without you getting sick on the pill or rolling up the haystack. <laughs> They're right over there. Can't you wait two more days? No. You're crazy, you know that? Where is it? Upstairs. My dressing table drawer. A lot of good it's doing up there. Go get it. Go on. Come on. Go get it.
Jolene! Jolene, you give that back to me! Back. Jolene! A little bit low, ball one. One ball and no strike. Come here! Jolene, if I touch you, I'm gonna kill you, Now Jolene. the runner takes Come the lead. On. We interrupt this program to bring you a special Jolene. report. East Germany tonight tightened its stranglehold on West Berlin by halting all air traffic in and out of Tegel and Tempelhof airports, severing the city's lifeline to the west. This action has been condemned by NATO foreign ministers as a blatant, unconscionable violation of international law. Jolene! 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 Jolene? Jolene! Jolene, you open this door right now. I'll never talk to you again. Jolene! Tomorrow, Berlin time, that 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, would be regarded as an act of war. After an emergency meeting with his cabinet and congressional leaders of both parties, the president tonight declared all United States military personnel on worldwide stage two alert. Soviet Ambassador Anatoly Karajan was summoned to the White House three quarters of an hour ago. Mom, she was, she was in my... Well, all right, you don't have to tell me, but I expect the two of you to settle it amongst yourselves. Otherwise, I'll see that your father settles it for you. Now, Jolene, I could sure use some help with the casseroles when you're through. Give that to me, right. Press Secretary David Towns reports that both sides are engaged in frank and earnest talks aimed at finding ways to defuse the heightening crisis in Berlin. Oh my God, it's 1962 all over again. Cuban Missile Crisis. Do you remember Kennedy on television? Telling Bruce to have to turn his boats around. Full retaliatory response. He didn't bat an eye. We were in New York, in bed. It's like this, remember? <laughs> 118th Street. Meatball sandwiches from Sharkies. Your last year's residency. I swear that we made Marilyn that night. We got up. Went to the window, looked for the bombs. Didn't happen. It's not gonna happen now. Nah, people are crazy, but not that crazy. Well, you wanna know if I'm crazy? Mm -hmm. The Donnellys left today for Guadalajara. Guadalajara? I, I swear it. I spoke to her as they were pulling out. He said they were dovetailing their vacation. The rising international tension. Oh, cut it out. I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, they took their Vietnamese maid with them. And that rotten little barking <laughs> dog <laughs> on the push in face. Oh, what about their little uh, combination tractor lawnmower golf cart with the silver hubcaps? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. What if it does happen? What do we do?
told me nothing like this was ever going to happen. Maureen is just an alert. That's all. I mean, we're going to run around and check things twice instead of once. That's it. Well, what am I going to tell my mother? She's got the house all set, a room for Skip. And... Well, why don't you go on down? No, no, I'm serious, honey. Why don't you just take Skip, go on down to your mother's, and then I'll just join you when this whole thing is over, OK? That's just great. Billy, I'm sorry. I know I'm not making this any easier on you. I love you. Know that. Look, I love you too, Maureen. Look, look, just, look, just five and a half months. That's it. Five and a half months, and I'll be out the service. I'll be working 40 hours a week, making 1750 per hour. You taking everything you got? Damn it, Maureen, it's an alert. It is four sets of everything. It's just strictly by the book. I'm scared as well. Oh, look, sit down. Maureen, there's nothing to worry about. I'm going to be right next door. I'm going to be on the base the whole time, and I'm going to call you every night. OK? What do you say, you and me get some breakfast? The White House today issued a strong denial that the United States contemplated any unilateral military action in response to the deteriorating situation in East Germany. Press Secretary David Towns, speaking for the President, unequivocally stated the administration's support for the NATO Pact Alliance Hell, have you been? Don't you just walk right by me when you hear me asking you a question. What are you doing sneaking in here? I'm not sneaking. I never sneak. Then why didn't you come in the back door? I didn't even know the door was unlocked, Daddy. I've been out with Bruce riding around. Riding around? All night? Frankly, Daddy, that's none of your business. As long as you live. Oh, I'm... Daddy, please don't say that. Because I'm getting married tomorrow. Jolene! You get back in there and stop eavesdropping. I'm not eavesdropping. I'm just waiting for you to finish up so I can get back to the bathroom. Well, use the one outside the kitchen, honey. The water's freezing out there. Well, hurry it up, for Pete's sake. Can't you see that we're talking? 
The whole world's just holding its breath to hear what you're talking about. What is all the commotion out there? Nothing, Evie. Honey, let's just forget what I said. You're no sneak. him. Got good hand. Good hand. Good moves the outside. He's not afraid to take a hit. You have a son playing? Yeah. Doug Holland. Number 68. Yeah, he's only a sophomore. Yeah, he's born guard, though, you know. Stocky. All heart. I try not to miss a practice when I'm not on the road. I don't like to embarrass him by hanging around the bench. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm, I'm Doug Sr. Oh, Russ Oaks, nice to meet you. Same yeah. here. Well, see you, Doug. Okay, bye. The NATO armored units have broken through the Helmstead checkpoint into East Germany. And after heavy fighting or advancing under air support two miles among the E-8 Bundesstrasse corridor past Marienborn toward Berlin. French news agency has received conflicting reports of East German resistance and heavy casualties. But ground observers have confirmed that two Soviet-built MiG-25s invaded West German airspace, firing several air-to-ground missiles at a NATO munitions storage facility and also hitting a school and hospital outside of Würzburg. While we save a single blue baby, they are bombing hospitals in Würzburg. I'm afraid to listen to the radio anymore. Have you heard the lady? There is a rumor they are evacuating yes. Moscow. Yeah. There are even people leaving Kansas City because of the missile fields. Now I ask you, where does one go from Kansas City? To uh, the Yukon? Tahiti? <laughs> we are not talking about Hiroshima anymore. Hiroshima was... was peanuts. What's going on? Do you understand what's going on in this world? Yeah. Stupidity has a habit of getting its way. Dr. Yes? Oh, Dr. Oaks, your wife would like you to come. Oh, thank you. Dr. Oh, he's probably stuck in traffic on the I-70. Hey, haven't you heard? Everyone's gone fishing. Who's in charge? Good question. Montoya's in KC, and Julian wants staff informed of emergency procedures in case a general metro evacuation is ordered, so he needs a medical person. Oh, no, no, not me, Bauer. See, I'm just a resident with 120 freshman bodies to examine. Unfortunately, most of them male. Nice try. Looks just like the army. Yeah, I wonder where we're going to be next week. Somewhere in the upper atmosphere. Yeah. 
Stephen Klein. K L E I N. Japanese. Age. Uh, 19. Residence. Joplin. No, I mean on campus. Oh, uh, Davidson 4. What's your major, Stephen? Pre med. He's shooting baskets at the Y. He knows better. This is my second false alarm. I'm 10 days early. A little tension grabber, he says. Where's yours? My what? Your husband. Oh, he's trying to catch a plane out right about now. So what's he got to do with anything? I'm not the one having the baby. Yeah. What's it like? What? You know, having a baby, what's it feel like? Never had one. But you said I know. I know what? Back in emergency, I was telling you about the pain. She said, I know. I know about the pains because I'm a nurse and seen a lot like you. Yeah, you want to know what it feels like? What? It's like I'm going to have a basketball. Hey, where is everybody? They're all watching the news. Say, I saw a ticker and Judy Francis taking off. Thumbs out, backpacks and all. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Holding my place in line. If I don't get into Bowman's metallurgy class this semester, I'm not going to graduate in January. What's going on? They say the Russians just invaded West Germany. rapid Soviet tank and artillery advances into the Fulda Gap. Having already captured NATO advanced positions along the West German border, the looming question is, how far will Warsaw Pact forces go? Will the Russians advance straight for the Rhine and defy NATO's declared policy of defense by all means, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons? The Defense Department today reported... Fantasy land. Do you think they're making this up? you think this is war of the worlds or something? Look, did we help the Czechs, the Hungarians, the Afghans, or the Poles? Well, we're not going to nuke the Russians to save the Germans. I mean, if you were talking oil in Saudi Arabia, then I'd be real worried. What do you think? I gotta get a haircut. <sighs> you know, I think I'm gonna hitch home, see my folks, and I'll see what's happening on Monday. Where do you live? Joplin? You going to Joplin? Hey, son, hop in. I'll give you a ride. Oh, great. Make it pretty, Ollie. This is my last trim as a free man. Uh -huh. I'm getting married tomorrow. That's right. right. Yep. Well, congratulations. Glenn. Who knows? The president's speaking on television at 6 tonight. Maybe he'll, he'll tell us something new. Well, they'll tell us what they want us to hear. Keep the panic at the low sweat stage. I really don't think either side wants to be the first to use a nuclear device. You know, it's not a question of who, but where. Over whose real estate. Say we explode a nuclear bomb over their troops, on our side, the fallout had better not drift over to their side. They're crazy. How do they expect it's going to stop with just one bomb? You want to know what crazy is? Crazy's not staying out of other people's business. We shouldn't be over there in the first place. Well, maybe they'll contain it. After all, I've still got symphony tickets for tonight. The thing that bothers me is that damn launch on warning. What's that? That's when one side tells the other that they're going to fire their missiles as soon as they think the other guy's missiles are already on the way. You know, use them or lose them. What do you really think the chances of something like that happening way the hell out here in the middle of nowhere? Nowhere? <laughs> There's no nowhere anymore. You're sitting next to the Whiteman Air Force Base right now. That's about 150 Minuteman missile silos spread halfway down the state of Missouri. That's an awful lot of bullseyes. Our pack forces are close to announcing a ceasefire along the German border. There are still no eyewitness accounts to substantiate the rumor that low and kiloton range nuclear weapons were detonated this morning during the conflict, resulting in the reported destruction of Wiesbaden and the outskirts of Frankfurt. This is the emergency broadcast system. All persons in transit in the Kansas City metropolitan area are advised to proceed immediately to the municipal shelter facility. 
city or township closest to your current location. While there is no immediate danger to the Kansas City area, the Federal Emergency Management Agency urges that the steps to be taken in the event of a probable attack. Hey, hey there, Jim. Jim, when are you going home now? Reverend, we've got a lot more to well, do. Well, I know, I know, but you've got plenty to do at home. What good right. does the dirt do? Get on in the truck, son. Listen, fellas, I'm gonna cut on out now. Good luck to you. As soon as we get home, you line up some milk jugs, about a half a dozen of them, put them beside the water pump. We're gonna fill them with water and take them down the cellar. Yes, sir. My, my kids just left on the camping trip. I don't know how I'm going to, what I'm going to. ships in the Persian Gulf. Who's they? The Russians, who do you think? When we hit them back, one of their ships. You know? Use one more good rain for the cut. Hey, did you kids hear me? Shh. Don't wait a few minutes. Oh, honey, the biscuits. Mm. That three nuclear weapons uh, in the low kiloton range were airburst this morning over advancing Soviet troops. <laughs> And that both sides are working together to bring about the earliest possible cease. Roger, 1590, take off on lane 5. 2 and 8, clear ground. Extra push, check the line. Stand by, start. Get him up. 2 and 8 are up. 2 and 8 are up. The State Department says the President is presently in direct communication with Soviet Premier. Zero, five, three, six, one. Nuclear bomb of undetermined strength has exploded at regional NATO military headquarters. Launch missile this time. Take off runway 3 1.
a shower. Well, get them downstairs. Oh, Jim, can't you see all I've got to do? Don't you know there's pretty much a national emergency going on? Well, it's just going to have to go on without me because your daughter is getting married tomorrow and I've got 67 miles to feed. I hope so. But first, we've got to get some things into the cellar. I think there's a tornado coming. Daddy, the man on the radio said there might be a war. He's saying how we should unplug all our radio and TV and stuff. There's not going to be a war, is there? <laughs> We need access to the keys and the authentication documents at this time. Okay, you have your key here. Yes, sir. Adam Baker, uh, can I get a reading, please? Go ahead and lock it in. Uh, check your monitor. That's good. Uh, wait for Charlie One. Take any further. That's oh, okay. Thanks a lot. Federal Good luck now. Yeah, you too. I gotta go. Stand by to the message. Stand by. Claxon, Claxon, Claxon. Message follows. Alpha, seven, eight, November, Foxtrot, one, five, two, two. Capital? Yes, sir, this is Oscar 11. We just started, sir, why? Standing by. This is follows. That's a GCS Delta. execution from the president. Can I agree on message valid also. Step one, launch key is inserted. Roger. Let's enable the missiles. Program Roger. flight switch. Enable. Flight all. LFO. Unlock code inserted. Standing by. Unlock code inserted. Enable switch. Enable. Enable. Coordinate. Enable command. Yes, this is us. We're doing all call enable. Thank you. Key turn on my mark. Standing by. Five. Four.
Where's Mama, honey? Upstairs. Now, I want you to take those tarps and canvases down in the basement, like I told you. And stay there with Jolene, you understand? Yes, Daddy. Evie, don't bother with the bed just now. Eva, we've got to get down below. Listen, those missiles have all gone off. with the capsule down there? Shut down there in the lodge. Even the radio went out. Radio's out. Last thing oh, I heard was they knocked out two of our radar warning stations. Where? Oh, no. Beale no, Air Force I Base, California, it. and somewhere in England. Can you believe it? <laughs> they really going to do it. They stacked them. They pushed all the buttons. You know what that means, don't you? Either we fired first, and they're going to try to hit what's left, or they fired first, and we just got our missiles out of the ground in time. Either way, we're going to get hit. So what are we still standing around here for? Where do you want to go? Well, how about out of here for starters? I got to get my wife and my kid. Oh, we're still on alert, Billy. No one leaves this facility. Oh, come Not on, until man. the choppers Who are you kidding? You kidding me, man? The bombs will be here before the choppers will. Listen. Damn. Listen to me, man. The war is over. It's over. We've done our job. So what are you still guarding? Huh? Some cotton picking hole in the ground, all dressed up and nowhere to go? He's right. Oh, Lord, Lord. What about Star and Boyle? What about them? What are they doing? Yeah, they're 60 feet down, sipping on some cold beer and whistling misty. Well, I'm going down there. Oh, forget you it. You can't man. go down there. That elevator's secured. You hear yourself talking, bozo? Because I hear you saying that we got direct orders to be sitting ducks. Guys, we got to stay cool. Inside that shaft. So what? They're still behind an eight-ton steel door. Enough food and water for two weeks. They're not going to let you in there. There's still that little room off the elevator. Tommy, you know as well as I do that a direct hit will take out the main shaft and boil and star too. Well, I'd rather take my chances down there. This was your idea. Uh, no, not no hole in the ground was my idea. Yeah. Yeah, sure, man. Come on, make up your mind. Because you're either going to crawl down in that hole or you're going to shoot me in the back. So what does the book say, bozo? Like a test, sort of. Like a warning? They're on their way to Russia. They take about 30 minutes to reach their target. So do theirs, right? Missile warning, this is Beale. Confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. Roger, we've got 32 targets in track and 10 impacting points. I want to confirm, is this an exercise? Roger, copy. This is not an exercise. 
Roger, I understand. Major Reinhardt, we have a massive attack against the U.S. net at this time. ICBMs. Numerous ICBMs. Roger, I understand. Over 300 missiles inbound now. Come on, baby, don't die on me now. Oh.
Dad, we left Rusty. We might be down here a long time. There's not going to be enough food and water for Rusty. You mean he's just going to die out there? Honey, we're going to have to get used to things being a lot different. What matters is we're alive and we're together. It smells awful. How long will we have to stay down here? I don't know. I don't know anything about radiation. What's radiation? Broadcasting Center. There's a museum in the basement, if it still works. These are getting scarcer than hen's teeth. You shouldn't have stayed out so long looking. Why well, do we need one for the short wave? Oh, I'm I hope I don't blow myself work. up. I'm not sure about anything. See? Red is positive. Connected or is Connie still up on the roof? She should forget that stuff and get down here. Here it comes. Get, get the beds in the halls away from the window. I've seen a number of people in here. This is supposed to double the fallout shelter. They're standing around shock or hysterical. Where, where is Dr. Wallenberg? She's got all the radiological equipment. What did you see? Listen, why don't we have any emergency power here? There's no electricity anywhere. What, what did you see? You come from Kansas City. What did you see? I was on the freeway. About 30 miles away. I'm not sure. It was high in the air, directly above downtown, like the sun exploding. I'm taking you into the hall. It'll be safer there. Protect you from the fallout. Come right through the window, through the wall. Go to your right. Hey, Julian. Julian. Folks, thank God you're here. Listen, there are only a handful of doctors on duty. I'm down to about a quarter of the hospital staff. You better get the injured in the shelters in the campus building. Right, I'll All see right. what I can do. Is it over? I don't know. It seems to be. Well, how many were there? Two. Kansas City. There are more to the south. Well, was it just Kansas or the whole country? I don't know. Well, my husband was in Sedalia. What about Sedalia? What do you do? I'm overdue. Well, right, we got to do everything we can to protect ourselves from the fallout. What's for? Can I have your attention, please? This is this is only a campus hospital. We don't have many supplies. Unless you're seriously injured, could you please go to one of the other campus buildings? We have to clear the area for those people that are the serious. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
Okay, burn cases over here. I see the nurse right there. I see that dirty up in the hall. Now, please listen to me. Listen to me. We need your help. This is a hospital. Those of you not seriously ill or injured have to work. Work with our staff. Now, this work will be dangerous. We have to do it in order to survive. We tried hooking up an auxiliary pump to a backup generator, and we're still only getting a trickle. I still don't understand. Did they burn out? They could have been subject to the EMP effects. What's that? Electromagnetic pulse. When a large nuclear device is airburst at a high altitude, a lot of electrical disruption can be created, principally with radios, communication systems, electrical wires, computers, cars, transistors. Of course, it's all theoretical. It's never happened before. In short, very little electricity. Forever. We'll have to find the nearest hand pump and chain gang the water in. Nobody's going to go out there and expose themselves to... We have to have water. How are we going to operate? Wait a minute. Sit tight for a couple of days. Now, what about fuel to boil water, heat food, sterilize surgical instruments? Well, what about bringing in wood? You can't burn wood that's been contaminated. Just put radiation right back in the air. What about bottled gas? Now, there's some butane, but no more than about three days' worth. for some water. Have you got another cellar out in the barn? Look, I'll die out here. Let him stay, Jim. Sure. There's not going to be 20 people pounding on the door. Well, there won't. They're all dead. I'm the last one. Look, I'll help you any way you want. I won't be any trouble. I even brought my own food. I can... Well, get on down here. Shut that door first. Jolene, cut that light off. Save it for when we need it. Just wanted to see who it was. All right. My name's Stephen. We're the Dahlbergs. I'm Eve. It's Jim. Denise, Jolene, and uh, Danny. He looked at one going off. It's flash blinded. He burned his retinas. What do you know about it? Not a whole lot. Pre-med over at KU. Do you know Bruce Gallatin? He, he's a senior. No. But, but you're from Lawrence, so maybe Bruce is all right. Well, I don't know what happened to Lawrence. I was close to Harrisonville when it started. Must have been five or six of them to the north, and a whole string of them to the south. They must have hit every missile silo from Sedalia to El Dorado Springs. All right. All right.
you been in shelter the past few days? Last night. We slept in a chicken coop in Lone Jack. But otherwise, you've been outside since then. Hold still. Since making a martyr of yourself. You know what's going to happen next around here, don't you? I've been trying not to think about it. We may be the only hospital operating within 100 miles. Everyone half alive or dying will find their way here. Too late to become a dentist? <laughs> what are you thinking? I wonder who was spared. I wonder if New York, Paris, Moscow, are just like Kansas City now. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? This is Lawrence. This is Lawrence, Kansas. Is anybody there? This is Joe Huxley. I'm broadcasting out of the science building at the University of Kansas. Is anybody there? I have an atmosphere report for anybody who's listening. Dr. Oakes, do you read? Come in, Dr. Oakes, do you hear me? Yes, Joe. We are holding fast at just a hair under uh, 50 rads per hour. I thought that it would have diminished by now. I guess that means we're picking up a lot of fallout from Titan missile bases in Wichita, wherever else. Out west, that's the way the wind blows. Straight toward St. Louis. Uh, when will it be safe to move people to other buildings? It'll never be safe. Come on, Joe. <sighs> well, it gets down to under two rats an hour, if and when. Have you picked up anybody else on your, on your end? Not so. This is Lawrence. This is Lawrence, Kansas. Is anybody there? Anybody at all? That's the first time you've closed your eyes in three days. I do it when you're not looking. You look terrible. You sound just like my wife. Here. Thank you, Sheila. 
should eat a piece of this orange. This may be the last orange you see for a week and a half. When you close your eyes, start remembering. Remembering what? My son. Catching a pass, daughter staring at a painting. I. It's an accident. Well, my being here, I hadn't come back to teach my hematology class. I'd be in Kansas City. survivor of a nuclear war. Come on, Danny. I want you to I'm eat. I'm not hungry. <sighs> Denise, eat this. Otherwise, it'll go bad. Jolene. Oh. Oh. The battery went dead. We can see that, Jolene. Where are the matches? I've got them. Day, I think. What day? Wednesday. It's Thursday. 2.30. I wonder if it's sunny out. I can't remember. Can't remember what? It's only been five days, and I can't remember what Bruce looks like. And now we've all been through a lot, sitting here in the dark. What are we doing down here, anyway? It's all over, isn't it? It smells so bad down here, I can't even breathe! Now, listen, Denise, you get a hold of yourself. Now, you know that we cannot go out of here and... Why did I have to use that thing? We'd be married by now, anyway. Why didn't I at least get pregnant? Just pipe down, Denise. Because now I can't even see his face! I can't see anything! I can't see anything! I can't see anything! Denise, I mean, I just calm down. Get hold of Let go of me! I can't see! You can't go on there! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll get it. I owe you. taste it.
<laughs> Where you going? Hold it. Oh, yeah? How come? People there. How do you know? A man with a CB back in Leeton. You from Leeton? How's the Dahlia? I, I said, how's the Dahlia? <coughs> there ain't no Sedalia. Ain't no Green Ridge. No Windsor. No nothing. Seventeen people died in here this morning. I would say that we are running a serious cholera risk. Say nothing of the bodies, and the morgue is filled. Should we start using the garage? Move the terminal radiation patients back into the ward room, make them as comfortable as possible, and I'll talk to Joe Huxley about the rad situation. Dr. Oakes, we're running very low on morphine. There's been quite a lot of stealing going. They're stealing food from the kitchen. A few minutes ago, Dr. Strayhorn got his wrist broken trying to stop a fight down an emergency. Hold the doors! Don't let anyone else in. Put on extra guards if you have to. How can we care for people if we have no control? Isn't that what you're trying to tell me, Julian? Yes. Doctor, have you heard about firing squads? Anything about firing squads? They're shooting people. Shooting. Before. Looting, hijacking, rape, murder. Without a trial? That's nonsense. That's crazy. Go back to work. See these people? That's us, man, if we don't get to Lawrence. You hear me? Hey, that's legal tender, by the way. They got a hospital in Lawrence. You're not a big talker, are you? Did Dr. Montoya discuss cesarean section with you? I'm wide enough. There's nothing in the way. I'm just waiting around here like everybody else. Who knows we're for? Maybe that's why you two weeks overdue. If you were in utero and you had any choice about the matter, would you be dying to be born into a world like this? Do you think your baby's deciding whether or not to be born? Do you think I'm holding back by force of will, Dr. Oaks? Bad toilet training. No, I think you've got to be willing to let your baby come with you like it or not. You're holding back hope. Hope for what? I wish I did. What do you think's gonna happen out there? You think we're gonna sweep up the dead and fill in a couple of holes and build some supermarkets? You think all those people left alive out there are gonna say, oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault. Let's kiss and make up. We knew the score. 
We knew all about bombs. We knew all about fallout. We knew this could happen for 40 years. Nobody was interested. I can't argue with you. Argue with me. Please. Give me a reason. Tell me about hope. Tell me why you work so hard in here. I don't know. Corn will be a total loss. Should have harvested ten days ago. Cows can't graze. Contaminate the milk as well as themselves. We're lucky to be alive. We'll see how lucky that is. Name? McCoy, William, Airman First Class. Home? Whiteman Air Force Base, Sedalia, Missouri. This is my friend. Yeah, yeah. One at a time. He can't talk. What's your injury? I, uh, I can't keep nothing in. Not even my own hair. Um, I got, I got, I got these bruises, like, all, all on my arms, see? And it's real bad. Look, see, see, look, see, look, look at Cody. See, Cody's got him all up his arm, like. Look, I know we got radiation sickness. The only question is, is there anything that we can do about it? The radiation count is now 0.4 rads an hour, which is considered safe for limited exposure outdoors. We urge all of you not suffering from specific physical injury to seek fresh shelter in campus buildings.
there was a great earthquake and the uh, the sun became black as sackcloth and a third of the earth was burnt up a third of the trees and all the green grass and then from the smoke came locusts on the earth with the power of scorpions and they were told in See, they were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any green tree. But only those who have not the seal of God upon their foreheads. Now, are we here today counted among God's servants? We give thanks to thee, O Lord God Almighty, for rewarding thy servants. And those who fear thy name, both great and small. And for destroying the destroyers of the earth. This county's closed down. Well, there's there's University Hospital in Lawrence. I don't know. That's awful far. Well, it's her only chance. And Danny's, too. Look, you stay here. She's my daughter. I'm going to bring him back. What's going on? Eve, we're going to have to try to get her up here a little more securely, dog. I'm going to try to put her feet through here. Maybe you could help me with yeah, her let, head. Let me get up right here. All right. Can you hold on your sister here, would you please? You just lie right down there, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Cows, telephone poles, usual stuff. Seen what's going on out there? <clears throat> yes. Well, what are we going to do? I'm going to let him in, Paul. Manage your chance. indicate that principal weapons impact points included military and industrial targets in most sectors of the United States. There is, at the present time, a ceasefire with the Soviet Union which has sustained damage equally catastrophic. Many of you listening to me today have suffered personal injury, sudden separation from loved ones, and the tragic loss of your families. I share your grief for I, too, have suffered personal loss. During this hour of sorrow, I wish to assure you that America has survived 
escape this terrible tribulation. There has been no surrender, no retreat from the principles of liberty and democracy for which the free world looks to us for leadership. We remain undaunted before all but Almighty God, the government. Functioning under certain extraordinary emergency options, we are prepared to make every effort to coordinate relief and recovery programs at the state and local levels. During the next two weeks, my staff and cabinet will attempt to relocate to National Emergency Reconstruction Headquarters. At the present time, and until radiation pattern reports are made available over the emergency broadcast band or through your local authorities, I urge you to remain in areas offering maximum shelter protection from radioactive fallout and to obey all local curfews. We are counting on you, on your strength, your patience, your will, and your courage to help rebuild this great nation of ours. God bless you all. That's it? That's all he's gonna say? Hey, maybe we're gonna be okay. What do you wanna hear? I wanna know who started it, who fired first, who preempted. You're never gonna know that. What difference does it make? He doesn't know how badly we were He hit, sure would have told us that they would have fired bad. first. Right, right. He doesn't want anyone to think we lost the war. <laughs> you believe that? You believe everything they tell you? Doctor, <laughs> you know what Einstein said about World War III? He said he didn't know how they were going to fight World War III, but he knew how they would fight World War IV. With sticks and stones. Can I get some help here, please? <laughs> Dr. Oates, we have to contend with the number of bodies, the time required for each individual burial. Dr. Oates. The danger of infection now is so grave. The only solution is to prepare for public graves on the outside of town. Dr. Oates. Dr. Oates. Dr. Oates, you want in surgery. You already five minutes late. Dr. Oates. Dr. Oates. You got a boy out there? Number 80, Alan Oakes. I swear that we made Marilyn that night. We're all changing, Daddy, don't you see? Stupidity is a habit of getting its way. Okay. Didn't happen. It's not I'm going to Boston. What if it does happen? What do we do? Hiroshima was peanuts. Because the artist wants it to be in the landscape, part of it. Son, explode. People are crazy, but not that crazy.
Hey, give me a hand. We're running out of body bags. Can use a trash can line instead? <coughs> No more. What do you mean, no more? I've got three kids with a lot of milk and two kids at home who haven't eaten since the day before yesterday. I'm sorry, lady. What do you want me to do? You want to come in here and look around at all the stuff right Yeah, there is no more food in there. That's for the other camp. Help! I don't know. Doctor, you sure don't talk like one. Well, um, actually, I'm the pizza man. What's your name? Sam. Sam Hachiya. What kind of name's that? What's it sound like? I don't know. Italian? There you go. Hey, what do you know? Sam Hachiya Pizzeria, huh? When can I see my sister? Um, that depends, kiddo. You stay here. I'll be back. I'm not going anyplace. So, what we want you to do now is burn out your current crops, start decontaminating the soil, and plan next spring's planting. Crop selection must consider plants least susceptible to ultraviolet radiation and yields for human rather than animal consumption. Excuse me, Mel, but uh, how do you go about decontaminating the soil? Well, you chiefly wait for the fallout to decay to safe enough levels to either plow under or scrape off the top layers. How do you know what safe is? Uh, we'll <clears throat> have a uh, NERA task force advising each county agricultural cooperative. <laughs> task force? Where the hell do you think they're coming from? We're just going to have to channel animal feed to human needs. Except for uh, uh, dairy cows that pass muster and certain poultry. Can you explain what you mean by scraping off the top layers of my top soil? Uh, exactly that, Jim. You just take the top four or five inches of your topsoil. Yeah, and do what with it? We're talking 150, maybe 200 acres a man in here. That's right. Being big is one thing, being realistic is another. Suppose you find a hole where you can drop all this dead dirt. What kind of topsoil is that going to leave you for raising anything? Jim, your numbers are Where'd you get all this information, John? All this good advice out of some government pamphlet? Jim, somebody's got to take charge. Yeah. We're talking catastrophe here, not life as usual. Now, the... National Emergency Reconstruction Administration's primary goal is to establish order and to aid you in salvaging your resources for the country at large. What's going on down there? What do you think you're doing down there? <laughs> Who are you folks?
This is my home. Where's Nurse Bauer? his orders. Right. All right. I'll take some time off. See the sights. <laughs> sure. Take yourself a little vacation. Nice time of the year, fall. <laughs> Where do you think of going? Kansas City. Curious? Don't you wonder about it? I'm not going back to you. Why don't you come with me? They probably won't let you back in anyway. I want to see my home before I die. Just back on. Take your hands down. Here they go. Okay. Okay. This isn't gonna work, is it? <clears throat> it hasn't been that long, Danny. Um, the nurse may still go back. Uh... Your voice is shaking. <sighs> I'd like to go home now. I want to be with my mom and dad. Danny? <coughs> I'll take you. Stephen, what about Denise? We're all going home, okay? Come on. Thank you. <laughs> You're not really Italian, are you? So where are you from? Kansas City.
You look like you fell off your bike. Niece, I had a hard time finding you here. How's Danny? He's okay. What about his eyes? Uh, the doctor says that I'll be able to take you home in a couple of days. Phone's working? <sighs> Are you kidding? There aren't gonna be any phones. They, they give me this ribbon to wear. But I haven't got any damn hair to put it into. You look great.
Ellen. Get out of my house. Didn't you hear me? I told you to get out of my house. Anybody there? Anybody at all? Thank <laughs> you. 